analytic um, Apple or Apple no Apple you and Apple Apple I just love analytic Apple theory it's just the best Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. I'm having enormous problems with my autofocus today. I don't know how to fix it, I'm having autofocus problems since I started this channel. Maybe I'm too freaking dumb for all of this, I don't know. It's just so annoying. If you have any tips, then please let me know. Even the manual focus really doesn't spit out too much of a good video quality, I don't know. Improvised session today. I have a lot of time on my hands because I don't have a job right now except for YouTube and this is why we are going to do a little improvised session because people keep sending me stuff, some problems are interesting and clickbaity and yeah we are going to dive right in. It's an indefinite integral today. It's the one from nowhere to no autofocus, I told you. It's the one from nowhere to nowhere um, of the nested radical, square root of x, square root of x, of the square root of x. Blah, 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 up until infinity. Lot of square rooty boys here, okay? It's a pretty rootiful integral that we are dealing with here. And I already have a hunch how to solve this thing. We are just going to try it out. We are probably going to succeed. You can probably plug in each and every up and lower bound and it doesn't matter except for I believe if we were to let the upper or lower bounds go to infinity or negative infinity then all of this would diverge, wouldn't really um, have any limit, integral wouldn't exist because yeah square root grows unbounded even this nested radical. Okay so you can plug in from e to pi, okay then it's just zero, <laughs> okay oh, enough with those jokes. Now um, I'm, I'm going to rewrite this at first. It's the integral of, okay, this is going to consist of many, many parentheses. So we have this first term, x. We are going to close it off to the one half power. This is the first square root, this one right here. Now for the next square root, we are going to put parentheses yet again. And it's just yet another x to the one half power. And then this square root, okay, x to the one half power, to the one half power, blah, 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 up until infinity. This is how we are going to rewrite it and now we can make probably use of those simple um, function equations for exponentiation, meaning putting the one half power into here at first and then each and every other power that we have. So at first, that's the integral of x to the one half power. The next one is one half times one half is one quarter, so x to the one over fourth power, one half, one half, one half, okay, is one over two to the third power, so x to the one over eight, da da da, up until infinity. And yeah, now we can make use of the function equation for exponentiation, meaning we are going to have x to the one half plus one quarter plus one eighth plus da da da, up until infinity. And yeah, this is. Yeah, powers of two, this is just a geometric series in some way, even though there's still something missing. There's a part missing. Let me do some calculations. So this is overall just a infinity boy where k starts at one of one over two to the kth power. So what is missing is the first term so the, the zero of term to be precise of the series for it to be a geometric series. So what we are going to do, we are going to take this analytic um, apple and place zero apples next to it. What's no apples, okay? I'm giving you an apple and I'm taking it away from you. Okay, so many apple analogies here. I just love analytic apple theory, it's just the best. Okay, so this thing is just a geometric series. When this starts at zero, and this is going to give us 1 over 1 minus 1 half, minus 1. 1 minus 1 half is 1 half, taking the reciprocal is 2 minus 1 is just 1. Hmm. Okay, so we have the integral of x dx. We know what this is going to vary a to. I, I believe this is the worst way so to, to probably represent our boy, the integral of this uh, first degree polynomial. Could we do if even better? Could we make this even worse? Could we make it even um, harder to evaluate? 
I mean, this integral over all is pretty easy to evaluate. I mean, we know it's, it's primitive, x squared over 2, plus some arbitrary constant SpongeBob, I don't know. But um, let's try to solve it in a different way. Maybe using Riemann sums, that would be a cool thing, maybe. Um, so what we have here is basically, so the graph of this thing looks like this. We, we don't even need Riemann sums for this, am I right? That's just a triangle. I never thought about it like this before. This thing traces actually out a triangle as the area. This is pretty cool. Did you guys know about that? Probably. I'm just stupid when it comes to visualizations and stuff. Um, yeah, so we have this right triangle. Yeah, the side length is x. The side length is also x. So the area of this thing is x times x over 2. So x squared over 2. QED, I would say, plus some arbitrary constant kappa. But we can do better than that. Um, I mean, this was already a roundabout way, but a cool one if you don't know the primitive. Okay. Um, maybe, yeah, let, let's do it with the Riemann sums. Let's say we have this thing going from A to B. Okay. Meaning for the Riemann sums, what we have is we are going to take infinitely many rectangles. Okay, they, they all have the same base. We are going to call this base delta x, but they have a different uh, function evaluated at a certain point. So all those f of xi's. What are those xi's exactly? If this goes from a to b, delta x is nothing but um, b minus a over n. We are going to take n partitions exactly. And xi is nothing but let me think for a second. We are going to take our lower bound a and add i times this delta x to it. So plus i times b minus a over n. And now we can actually calculate the Riemann sums. Riemann sums are just the limit as n approaches infinity. So we are going to make the partition smaller and smaller. So the basis of those rectangles. And our summation where k is bounded between 1 and n of now base times height, so b minus a over n. And this is actually an easy function. We are going to plug xi's into our x, but this is just this thing itself. So this is just identity function. So times a plus i b minus a over n. That's going to be still quite a mess to evaluate. Riemann sums are worse. No one uses this except for checking for convergence of integrals overall. So here yeah, we're going to make stuff way more complicated here than we actually needed. So this first part is just a. Mm, so we have the limit. I'm going to use capital L for the limit. So we have um, a times b minus a over n times our empty sum. This empty sum is nothing but n, so we are going to sum n times 1 up, okay? This is nothing but n, this and that is going to cancel out. So this first part is going to give us a b minus a squared, I hope you can see where this came from. And then we are going to have the second summation is um, plus b minus a over n, we have the squared. k is bounded between 1 and n yet again of... Uh, why am I using k? I should use i. I don't know why I used k here. Let's just say k. I'm, I'm terribly sorry for that. There's probably an annotation somewhere in the video. This thing is just little gauss. So this gives us n times n plus 1 over 2. Meaning overall. What we have is plus b minus a squared over n squared, but this is n squared, so over 2, so this is independent of n. This is good. Um, also, we still have the limit, I forgot that. And we have 1 half, exactly, n is going to cancel out, so plus b minus a squared over 2n in the limit, this is going to vanish. So what we have here is... So all the other stuff is independent of n, so we can just um, distribute everything into everything without caring about the limit. So we are going to have a b minus a squared plus um, b squared over 2 minus a squared over 2 
minus, uh, no, plus, right? Plus, and we have minus 2ab over 2, so this is minus ab. This and that is going to cancel out. Negative 1 plus 1 half is negative 1 half. Basically, if we factor out the a squared, leaving us with b squared over 2 minus a squared over 2. Exactly what we were seeking, and we are done. For goodness sake. That's the solution to the definite integral if you don't plug in infinity. What an improvised session that was <laughs> pretty roundabout, but I hope you did enjoy this video. But before we end the video, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Brain.org, for sponsoring yet another video. Riemann's sums are actually no joke and stem from a highly rigorous mathematical foundation. If you are interested in learning more about Riemann's sums or integrals in general, I would recommend you to check out Brain.org today. If you take a look at their brilliant collection of mathematical and physics problems, you might find that this website is such a great source for almost everything, ranging from algebra, electrodynamics, all the way over to numerical analysis and, of course, calculus. You would like to understand the concept of solving integrals a bit better? Brilliant has you covered. Simply go to their calculus-based courses, for example, their brand new calculus in a nutshell one, put in some time and effort and check if your solutions fit the provided ones. Honestly, their website's format is such a great concept and I for myself think that they have built a great community, wiki page and website in general in the last few years. Brilliant puzzles you, surprises you and expands your understanding of the modern world. If you are interested in trying it out for completely free, make sure to use the link at the top of the video's description. Best thing is the first 100 people to use the link get 20% of an annual premium subscription. So try it out and support the channel this way. I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, recommend channel if you like. If you want to support channel a bit more, you know how you can do so by my merch or support channel on Patreon. Up until the next video, have flamble day. Ciao. I just clapped in my hands, you didn't see that. Laughing guys, appreciate ya. 4K, ja. Oh, Alter! Holy shit. <lacht> das ist aber schön. Aber nur ein bisschen. Pass auf, Chiara, geh nicht so nach. Zündet eure Böller an, solange ihr könnt. <lacht>